guys, it's Archon Mano. How's everyone doing? Good, good, good. I hope if I look dishevelled and harassed, it's because I've just got in from work and the November Lush box is here. Ah! So I've literally set my camera up and just going to start right now. So this is the Lush November box, the monthly kitchen subscription box. This is a different box. I have no, I have no idea what's in here. So usually what happens if you're, this is your first time ever watching a Lush kitchen box subscription unboxing. It's too many words, guys, too many words. Usually around the 24th of the month, they send an email out and you vote. You vote for your favorite or not favorite products that could be in the box and it's out of six. And then they usually make at least three of them three or four and then they put uh, one or sometimes two surprises in just it varies month to month it really just depends but for November this is an entirely new idea for this box they've never done it before so they emailed saying there will be no vote the five products in this box are conjured up by the two main lush inventors and they are all never before seen products so I have no idea what's in it usually I open it in my own time and then I talk about them to you guys. This time it's going to be one of those, what do they call it? First impression, I don't know, just surprise boxes. So I have tr avoided spoilers as much as I can. I have not seen anything so even one of my colleagues at work gets this box and she it arrived at work today and I made her open it not around me. So here it is. It's a normal green one. Sometimes when it's a themed month, the box is itself is themed, but this is just a normal one here. And it just says, thanks for your order. Sometimes there's special little, like anecdotes on the front of the box. Like the last month's Halloween one, it said, warning, contents may come alive. But there's a picture of a passion fruit there. And there's a rose here. And I think, yeah, more passion fruit. Okay. I'm just gonna open it. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't bring anything to open it with. I was too excited. Oh my God, I'm just gonna open it with my, my fingernails. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, excuse me. There's gonna be scruffling and rustling in this video, but it's just gonna, you have to deal with it. I really don't want there to be a card on the top. I look really horrible today, guys, I'm sorry. Um, I don't want there to be a card on the top that reveals the product. Uh, hello. Welcome to your November kitchen box. These products have been in development for a long time. Oh, I should mention that what's going to happen with these ones is we are going to vote after. Uh, the, the, the subscribers are going to vote afterwards and then the most voted for products will become permanent in the Lush shops. That's the, it's the other way around this time. So, well, I say permanent. You never know with Lush. They love to take things away. Anyway, it's Gary and Ro. The two uh, main inventors of Lush products. Welcome to your November kitchen box. These products have been in development for a long time. We've personally used, shared and tweaked each product as we formulated and perfected them. We're now proud enough to share them with you. We hope you love them as much as we do. Thank you. It says, PS, the power is in your hands. We'll be reaching out soon to get your super fan feedback. We want to know which of Rowan Gary's creations you can't live without and would love to see in the future all year round. So this could literally be anything. I have no idea. Oh my God, this is, this is what I live for. I live for this. I don't want to, I don't want to look at this. I don't want to look at this. I'm going to just look at the things and look at the, the card things after. This is nice though. Look. I see coffee. I see passion fruit. I see roses. I see some kind of nuts, seeds, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Excuse the rustling. It feels like a shower gel. Ah! It is. And it's called passion fruit. Oh my God, look, and it's got a, it's got a nice label. It says Gary and Rose Invention, kitchen exclusive exfoliating shower gel. Have they ever done that before? Uh, passion fruit. Our first ever scrubby shower gel with crushed passion fruit seeds in a glycerin rich base for soft radiant skin. Hop in the shower to lather and scrub then rinse for soft clean skin. Look at it. Can you see the, um, let me do this for you. you see inside? Let's smell it. Oh, 
it smells really good. Of course it smells really good. It's lush we're talking about. It smells like natural fruit juice. Maybe not passion fruit though. Let's see, I'll read the ingredients out afterwards because it's really hard to read on these bottles and products. Ah, I almost saw a few things. Hide my vision, hide my vision. <laughs> this is beautiful though, wow. Let me do the thing that a lot of other YouTubers do where they do this. Oh, I don't want to get it everywhere. Smells, it smells very, very natural. Sometimes lush smells can be not so natural, like we're talking about snow fairy, things like that. They've got this like artificial fun sort of smell. This feels like almost completely natural smelling and it smells obviously very fruity. Let's take the lid off once more, shall we? How many times have I done that? Three or four? Oh, it smells really good. Kind of reminds me of when you, if you ever as a kid eaten Starburst sweets and you just eat all the flavors at once. I'll read about it more afterwards, but anyway, the first one is this, and I love this little, I love that it's got a slightly um, customized label as well. Let's put the hand in and see what else. Okay, there's a pot, there's another pot, there's another pot, there's another pot. What is this? Tropical co-mingle body scrub. Soften up with natural exfoliants, moisturizing butters, and an irresistible pineapple scent. So it's this, Tropical Co-Mingle. So we have two shower products. Let's smell it. This is, are they all gonna be fruity? I don't know, I wanna touch it, but I kind of don't. Oh my God, this is so exciting. It's bright yellow. Focus please, camera. There you go, bright yellow. Let's put some on my hand for fun. It says it's a scrub. It's a fine, fine, fine scrub, this one. It feels like sand. Oh. So yeah, it smells kind of like pineapples. We'll read about it in a minute. Mm, this is so cool. That's a really nice fine scrubbiness. <sighs> okay, next thing. Wait there. I can feel another bottle. I can feel another bottle. This is so exciting. Bottled and potted products are usually the most exciting for me. Love a bath bomb, love bubble bath, but the bottled things, what is it gonna be? <gasps> it's a kitchen exclusive body lotion. So this feels like it's a new, oh, wait, hold on a sec. Some of them say kitchen exclusive. Oh, they all say kitchen exclusive. Of course, they're all exclusive for now, aren't they? Until we vote for them. Oh. <laughs> so this is called Peachy Rose and it's spelled Ro as in her name, Ro. I'll, sh I'll show you it, here you go. Peachy Rose. Kitchen exclusive body lotion. Love it when there's a body lotion. Oh my God, I'm living my best life right now and I'm so sorry for gushing. Light and lovely with fresh rose petal infusion and fair trade organic cocoa butter to soften and soothe skin. Let's put it on my hand. This is so good. We've got a shower gel, a shower scrub and a body lotion in this box. This is, this is one of the most exciting boxes that we've had this year. Oh my God, the rose in it is so nice. It's a really bright one. Oh, so nice. It's very strong as well, because there's some body lotions, for instance, there's, well, there was one in the other box and it was called Raspberry and Lime. And um, it, it was really faint. I couldn't really smell any, any of those things, but this is like a, a kind of fruity rose but it's definitely not rose jam. It's more very like realistic and kind of bright. So yeah, peachy rose body lotion. <laughs> okay. I, I purposefully felt for naked product, I mean bottled products before I went for anything naked because it, they're messy. So I feel like I at least at, at least we'll find something naked now. Okay, what's my hand on here? And it feels like a disc of some kind. Oh. Oh, I don't know what it is. It smells like coffee though. This looks like it could be like a, sh uh, it's melting as I'm touching it. It feels like, and it's scrubby. So it feels like it's gonna be a, another like solid body scrub this time though. It's got a really nice design on the front. It's like two little hearts and stuff but it smells like rich coffee and it smells really beautiful and I can't hold it for much longer because it's melting. 
but I'll read about that in a second. I'm gonna put it down here. I actually put a towel on the floor in anticipation of this. For this? Okay. I'm wondering if there's gonna be, oh, my colleague told me there were five things. That's all I knew, five. Oh, there's a little thing here. What is this? Oh my God, <laughs> it's a lip scrub. <laughs> the reason I respond this way to lip scrubs is because um, I went crazy and bought so many of them at once and then I bought every single one that they released. I got a bit of a, a, a lush lip scrub obsession to the point where I had 16 of them and I've had to throw some of them away. I'm not, I'm not mad that there's a lip scrub, but I literally threw one away three days ago, a Halloween one from last year that just went smushy and soft and smelled really weird. So, oh, it's called Espresso though. Focus. Look, it's got a little, uh, little coffee beans on it as well, which is really cute. I'm not gonna use this in the video. Literally, yeah, that's what it smells like. It is very dark brown. There you go, you can see the little granules. Let's see if this is like a, a kind of finer one. Some of them are really chunky sugar crystals and some of them, this is a, this is a fine one. Ah, oh, smells like a fresh cup of coffee though. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna read about them and then we will wrap the video up because there's more information on the sheets. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, now I can read things without um, being too scared. What are these? Oh, there's stickers as well. So I can put this on my laptop. I put stickers all over my laptop. Yes, I'm one of those people. So I love Gary. Fresh from the kitchen. <laughs> Upcycled coffee grounds. I love Ro. Lush kitchen. That's cute. So it says here, explore uh, kitchen's first ever inventor's box. Get ready to unpack never before seen products exclusively created for you. This bespoke collection was formulated. It was not just for me though, is it? I'm gonna make out like it was just for me. That would be amazing though. <laughs> um, this collection, this bespoke collection was formulated, tested and curated by Lush co-founder and inventor Rowena Bird and product inventor extraordinaire Gary Shears who toiled, tossed and turned over these brand new creations. So, let's have a look. So first of all, the passion fruit shower gel. This is uh, Tagua nut. I'm gonna give you the oils, like the smell, the oils and things, instead of the entire list, because it's too long. So the passion fruit one, this one says that it has Tagua nut powder, sea salt, fresh orange peel decoction, passion fruit seed powder, orange oil, buchu oil, litsi kubiba, olibanum resinoid, which is frankincense by the way, champaka absolute, fresh papaya juice. That's why I, I said it didn't really smell like passion fruit. It smells like a few different things together. Uh, and that's it. It says hop in the shower to lather and scrub, then rinse for soft, clean skin. We all know how to use a shower gel. Then the tropical co-mingle, this one is Tagua Nut Powder again. The lighting is not so good today. It's very dark and we're about to have a storm, by the way. Tagua Nut Powder, Cypress Leaf Infusion, uh, Almond Oil, Brazil Nut Oil, Kapu Kapaku Butter, Buriti Oil, Shea Butter, Bucha Oil, Litsi Kabiba, wild orange, fresh pineapple juice, and cocoa butter. Yeah, that's the co-mingle thing. Oh, that one says, wet skin and massage over body, then rinse off and pat dry for soft tropical scented skin. The peach, peachy rose is applied generously all over the body to keep skin soft and gently scented. This one is cocoa butter, jojoba oil, almond oil, jasmine absolute, lemongrass absolute, eugenol, no, we know that already. Where's the rose? Oh, fresh rose petal infusion, <laughs> the first thing on the list. I love this. What I'll do with this one is I will pair it together with one of my spectacular rose perfumes that I own and just have a rosy day. I love having a rosy day. So what is this thing? What is the name of this random thing which smells like coffee? I'm not gonna hold it. Can't be holding it. So that thing is called Oat Milk Latte. It's a self-preserving body scrub. How to use, hop in the shower and get scrubbing to slough off dead skin, moisturize and get a good old caffeine hit. So yeah, so there's two, well, all of the three shower products are scrubby things. Interesting. 
they want us to scrub our skin. So this one is cocoa butter, shea butter, ground coffee, coffee oil, agave syrup, ground almonds, coffee butter, oat milk powder, and yeah, that's it. And lastly, the lip scrub, which I think because it's so special and new, I think I should just take away the one that I'm using right now and just use this one up fresh and lovely. This one says, take a bean sized amount <laughs> and scrub your lips off, then wipe away excess. No, you don't. Everyone knows you lick off the excess. This one is castor sugar, uh, organic arenga sugar, jojoba oil, coffee oil. Self-preserving and 100% natural. So I'm over the moon, I love this box. I love all the boxes pretty much, but this one was super exciting because we just didn't know what was happening. So yeah, time for me to edit this video. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm out from my own. Trying to make the world more better one video at a time and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Yay for laughs.